Hey, 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 Nikki Brown here. No matter where you are, what part of the world you're in, I hope that you are having a good day. So, in addition to doing yoga, I've decided to do some walking. So I'm out here now. While the sun is still out before the sun goes down. And while it's not too hot, I'm going to go for a walk. I have no idea how long I'm going to walk. I'm excited that I can walk after having that bout with sciatica in the body for over a year. It feels refreshing to get out and walk um, without, you know, the issue. And so I'm just gonna allow my body to do what it can or what it needs to. Um, I would say I maybe do at least a mile, but I don't even have a way to keep track. <laughs> so I'm just out here. Um, and hopefully encouraging someone else to do the same. So that's why I decided to record this video. So that again, maybe someone else would be inspired and encouraged to come out and walk do what you can um, and leave the rest behind so again it's pretty pretty outside still a little bit warm but it's not too warm and so I'm about to spin the block <laughs> Isn't that what they say? <laughs> I'm about to spin the block. You know, so this guy, I guess he's getting an Uber, right? And I remember when I was driving. I don't understand why people take so long to get in the car, like. I can understand if you're like at a crowded venue, a concert or something, you want to make sure you're getting in the right car. But sometimes it's like you're the only house on the block and you got to walk all the way around the car, look at the license plate, still ask the person their name as if it's not obvious that this is your driver because the kind of car that comes up in the app is there. And if you're a Lyft driver, the picture of the person is usually there. I understand being cautious but my goodness and I guess with me if I call for an Uber I'm, I'm usually tracking it in the app as soon as the person comes up I just jump in the car and say hey how you doing let's roll out <laughs> but I guess that's just me Whew. again this feels pretty good to just be out here being able to walk oh my goodness I love it I'm just I don't match I don't care <laughs> matching was the last thing on my mind So, you know, when you live in places like North Carolina or Georgia, people aren't used to seeing people walking. Or they think that you're selling something, right? Not selling anything. I'm just walking. <laughs> Thank you for being concerned. Although I don't think that he was concerned. I think he thought I was selling something and not books. <laughs> so, yeah, it feels good to get out here and walk. That's one of the things that I missed, um, you know, during that. I don't even know, I tried not to keep track of it, 
So it was like April, I guess a year and three months. April, May, June, two months. Cause I started feeling better in June. Only after doing something different. And then for the whole month of July, um, I was doing yoga, so that helped also. Um, but um, yeah, a year and two months, excuse me, or 26 months. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, yeah. Wait a minute. April 7th, 2021. Yeah, to April of 2022. So that's 14 months. I don't know why I said 24. It seemed, it, it seemed like it was that long. There's some people in the park playing tennis. Oh no, they're not, they're roller skating. Oh, that looks like fun. I haven't skated in a while. I never thought to do that. Come out here with my skates. Although, <laughs> um, so, for those who don't know me, back in 2000, um, 14, yeah, 14, I was at the skating rink and I was skating and then Mary, and I kept saying, I need to go, I need to go, I need to go. And you know when you get that first, when your instincts kick in, you're supposed to listen to your instincts the first time and I didn't listen. But I kept saying, okay, I'm gonna go. But they kept playing good music. So a Mary song came on, and I'm just skating and skating and skating. And a little kid was flying past me, and I turned around to look. Man, my foot went one way, and my body went the other. So basically, my foot went all the way back. <laughs> like, the way that it's not supposed to go. <laughs> so, imagine... My foot went all the way back. I can't like like that. And basically I fell on top of so my foot went back. And then my body went, like I said, kind of the opposite. Well, it didn't really go the opposite way, but your foot is your your foot flexes up and not back if that makes sense. So it was a very unnatural position. And um, yeah, I was pretty hurt. And I did put skates on after that, like a couple years or a year later. And I went into a parking lot at the time where I lived. Um, and the fear stopped me from skating. Not because I was in pain or anything. I was just afraid. I was just afraid to fall on the concrete. So I stopped myself from skating. Um, so that's one thing, like fear can um, um, hold us back, even if there is not really a real threat um, of harm or injury. Sometimes we just, hold ourselves back because we're afraid to move forward and really it's mind over matter um, you know once we overcome that fear a lot of times we can do anything um, and that fear can manifest in many ways it could even be a fear of retaliation right maybe you're working at a job and um, 
you have someone who sexually harasses you, right? And you want to tell, but you feel like they'll retaliate. So, you know, some people will quit. Some people will just try to move to a different department. Well, some people will just deal with it because they feel like, oh, well, I have bills to pay. So um, I'm just going to deal with it and not say anything. And so that shows up differently for different people. Those are just three options. Um, but of course, it could even be handled differently, you know, depending on the person. So... Wow, now that I'm out here walking, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll walk around the park a few times, but I didn't walk too far from home, so. And it's only been 11 minutes. <laughs> I'm ready to keep going having a birthday party in the park I don't know if you can see that who's some stairs maybe I should walk up and down the stairs a few times Mushrooms. <laughs> oh, the top of my foot was hurting. The tongue of my sneaker was twisted. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you a motivational uh, pep talk so that hopefully if you feel like you want to get in shape, it's not even about losing weight. There's a, a sister on Instagram and I don't remember her name, um, but Ryan McC McCrary, um, he's the sales funnel doctor. And he did an interview with her. He interviewed me before in the past, too. He's a great guy. And um, um, her YouTube channel, though, is called Fit With Curves. Right? So um, she's all about getting fit but still keeping your curves. And um, so it's not about losing weight. Um, although you will sometimes automatically lose weight. But it's not necessarily about that, more so than it is to get in shape. Especially, you know, as we get older, um, you know, we want our bodies to still be flexible and agile. And, um, you know, and then with the yoga, that's like a, a mind over matter type of thing. I don't know how many times I've gone up and down. I said I was going to do 10, but I'm not counting. That's probably been at least five or six. <laughs> so anyway, yoga does help with flexibility. And it also helps like massage your internal organs. And... Um, and it really is good for the mind as well. So to strengthen the mind. So it's like a mind, body, and soul connection. So I've really been enjoying that. Um, especially for those who are spiritual. Or on a spiritual path. You know. Because it's about meditating and breathing. As well as the physical aspect. But it's not just about being more flexible. And I remember I had a supervisor who shall remain nameless. But 
we had a yoga instructor come and he was so anxious to see me do yoga and I was like really why would you want to see somebody do yoga yoga is really not a spectator sport like basketball or football um, it's really something that you should get your head into and really use it to manifest and be better and do better and live better not to you know watch men or women and really um it's really about modesty right and i know that most people or most women wear yoga pants but it's really not necessarily about showing off your curves although people can do whatever they want to do again it's more about having that mind body soul connection oh that felt good my knees hurting a little bit but that still felt good oh there's a guy out here playing softball or bas baseball with his son they just pulled up that's pretty cool i like to see men um doing things with their children playing sports or whatever that looks like even just walking at the mall whatever i just like to see men with their children without the mom <laughs> like he just took it upon himself to spend time with his son just cool i especially like to see men with their little girls because you know it's usually sweet so anyway um, yeah yoga is not a spectator sport um, you either want to participate or you don't oh wow they redid that house it's pretty Again, this feels good to be out here walking. You see Ra. <laughs> Ra wanted to say hello and shine upon me. It feels good. Almost like being at the beach without the water. know what those little nuts or fruits are that fall off these trees I, I opened one uh, one day but I don't know what it is I don't know if it's edible or not I would have to ask someone to find out but they're they fall off green and then they turn brown So now I'm at 18 minutes. So I think my goal will be to walk for at least 30 minutes. How about that? So let's go back. So um, again, I don't know how many times I walked up and down the stairs because I was talking and not counting. I actually didn't even intend to be on here this long. <laughs> I thought I was just gonna, you know, state my intentions really quickly hopefully willfully motivate some folks and then go ahead on about my merry way but it seems that I've decided to talk a little bit more than that and share this experience with you and take you on this journey with me which is cool Um, I actually thought I was just going to listen to music, but, uh, you know what, I think I'm going to walk up this little hill and then cut through the cemetery 
in the cemetery there's a little bit of a hill so i'm gonna cut through Maybe say hello to the folks that have transitioned. Oh, the swing. I haven't been on the swing in a while. I know it's gonna feel good once I go in the house. Um, and take a shower after this good walk I mean I haven't been walking this far in a long time oh my goodness I'm so thankful to have my body back in good health and strength Yep, I'm gonna go up here. There's some baby hills. This is one park that I love. It has some really good hills. I like hills. I like walking up hills. Walking is my favorite exercise. And then I guess yoga is my second runner up. Although again, I don't really consider yoga exercise necessarily. It's a mind, body, spirit, soul connection for me. But um, walking is my favorite exercise. Um, I think lifting weights is my least favorite. <laughs> Although it feels good sometimes. But I think that um, the way that my arms are set up, <laughs> I, um, kind of bulk up fast because muscle has memory and so I used to lift weights back in the day and then I think that once I saw my arms get bulky a lot of times I would quit because I didn't really care for that look um, although it's good to see them very toned and fit but not like bulky and you know everybody's different good everybody's different so everybody sees that differently so this is not me picking on anybody or um, oh, hey folks You know or judging anybody I just don't like it for me you know so I'm just thinking about myself right now so yeah I'm walking up a little baby hill <laughs> but it feels good out here This cemetery has like levels. I don't know what they're called, but the cement walls. And they have steps. They're low bearing walls. But like, you know, that this section is for, I guess, this family. Why is there a big hole there? Let me not go over there. And then some of the headstones are pretty flat. They keep it manicured pretty well. It's 
interesting to see the different names. And you can kind of imagine stories of people who lived like Burger, maybe that family um, had a restaurant where they prepared burgers during the 1700s or 1800s or something. So they decided to take on the last name of a burger or bell. Maybe they rang a bell. Banks, cash, right? Night. Rainwater, that's an interesting one. Miller, maybe they were Millers. Krill, maybe they uh, caught krill fish. I don't see years on most of them. Oh, that's 1905. Hammett. 1897, Cook, Thelma, and Arthur Cook. So maybe they were cooks. Waiters. Maybe they were a family of waiters. Taylor, a family of tailors. Carter, a family of carters. <laughs> Reed. Yep, so that's the Carter section. Interesting. A farmer Anderson, so it was the son of Ander. Big old tree. Let's go say hi to the tree. The tree might not like you with my phone in my hand. Like, why you got that negative energy over here, girl? Can I touch you? Oh my goodness, look how ginormous this tree is. You can't even tell how big it is. It is humongous. It comes all the way out here. The phone is not doing this justice. Oh my goodness, it's massive. This is a humongous tree. Um, I think that at least four people would have to stand around before they could touch. It's a massive tree. Ooh, there must be something that lives in there. <laughs> I wonder if they live inside the tree or in the ground. There's another big tree, but it's still not as big as that other one. I don't know if you can see. I mean, that tree is gigantic. Okay, I don't know if I'm done talking. <laughs> I got quiet, huh? <laughs> uh, I 
again, I think that my purpose was just to motivate some folks. So I hope that you are inspired to do something, whatever you enjoy. Like I said, for me, it is walking. But if you like going to the gym, then by all means, go to the gym. One thing I do miss about going to the gym is the, I, I can't remember what it's called, but you just stand up. Um, and raise your legs you can raise your legs or you can bring your knees to your chest um, it's an ab machine it's not a mechanical machine it's a manual machine I didn't I'm not even gonna call it a machine it's a manual piece of equipment and again, you um, stand up like you put your feet on the foot rest. And then your arms are holding you up. And you're like suspended in the air. And then again, you can raise your knees up to your chest. Or have your legs coming straight out. Or your knee, you know, flexing. Or extending your legs in front of you, I should say. And um, it's a good ab workout. That's one thing that I did enjoy doing. But yeah, this walk feels good. So, oh, I did do 30 minutes. I think I'll just go ahead and head home. Because this is good. It's 32 minutes in. I feel like I could do an hour, but this is only my second a third time going for a walk so I don't want to overdo it just give my body some time to adjust see how I feel tomorrow it really does feel good to be out here <clears throat> and um, enjoying the sun Sun will be going down probably another hour or so. Sometimes I look to see if I find four leaf clovers. <laughs> but you usually only see three, they're so rare. And then once all those clovers are clustered together, um, it's like finding a needle in a haystack, as they say. You normally only see three. I don't even think those are clovers, actually. But I don't know. Pretty though. Look at the little kitty cat on the steps. Hey, kitty. <laughs> I'm just chilling. These are some baby trees. We haven't been here very long. thoroughly enjoy this walk
And again, I hope that it has inspired or encouraged someone else to do the same. Whether you want to lose weight, tone, or, you know, maybe you've had some type of condition where you need to improve the health of your body. That's the important part. Is being healthy. And loving yourself, loving who you are. Take care of yourself. Make sure that you're good. You can live as long as possible. I think, yeah, well, it's time for me to go in. <laughs> I think my legs have had enough. Um, my, my left side is getting stronger, but um, the sciatic nerve runs down the left side of the body. And um, I'm just working on gaining the strength back on my left side, so. But it took a long time before I started feeling any tingling before I couldn't even walk very far my body would start to tingle and it was a lot um, and that pain would just intensify honey Again, I thoroughly enjoyed that walk. <laughs> I want to say something so bad, but I'm not. I'm just looking forward to my improvement and my growth. inspiring others to do the same. And that is it. And that is all. <laughs> I don't know what that is over there making that noise. I don't think I want to know. Is this pretty loud? It might be a little small something too, but it's loud. y'all thank you for taking a walk with me love y'all later